Okay, something I want to touch on, <laughs> touch on a little bit is the uniqueness um, of accents specific to Recife. Um, oh, oh, see, I was already speaking Portuguese there. Or in Pernambuco, um, which is the state I was in. And so down in the south of Brazil, um, it's more typical Brazilian Portuguese, let's say, um, or what they would say, more right. Um, I beg to differ. But um, so they'll say, let's say, yeah, let's just do like, you know, a form of poder. They would say, you know, for voce poji, the D E at the end has more of a G. Um, but then in, re in Hesifi, um, or more in the northeast, that D E, instead of saying G, am I, uh, more of a de. So, for example, I'll say two, two sentences, just to get you a, a taste of what's going on here. So, in the south, it's voce poji. And then in the northeast, where I serve, it's voce pode. A little bit like that, right? I'm, I'm American, so my accent is going to be messed up either way. But anyway, so the same thing comes on the TE. So on the TE down south, it'd be interessante or interesting. That's what that word means. Um, but then in the northeast, it's interessante. Eh? So um, interessante, interessante. Um, and then also the R's are stronger in the, in the south than in the north. Um, and so, for example, door is the typical go-to phrase that everyone uses to like exemplify this accent. So in the south, door would mean a stronger R, like porta. And then in the northeast, that R is more in your throat. So it's like porta. Um, anyway, so I remember, uh, you know, when I first arrived in, in Recife and I was listening to the Portuguese, I was like, this is not what I've been studying. Because it, it was complete, the accent was completely different um, than what, you know, I'd been studying this kind of southern Portuguese or Brazilian. Um, and then I got in Recife and it was completely different. Um, but it's, it's really pretty fun. Um, and I don't know, I, I, when I was in Recife, I used to be able to really do the kind of northeastern accent pretty well. But since I've came back here to the States, um, you know, a majority of the people that's, that speak here, they either speak Portuguese, I'm from Europe, or they speak okay, more of the Southern Brazilian. Um, and so now I'm just all mixed up and, and messed up. But um, it's a wonderful language. I love it. And uh, I think everybody should kind of, if they go to Brazil, they need to go to both parts, like the South as well as the North. Um, because they're completely different culturally and then language-wise as well.